So I'm just going to record a better quality version here. So this was the ECG I was talking about, the green polarized state, P wave blue, PR yellow, QRS red, T wave pink. I'm going to go through all the rhythms again so you can see it nice and clearly on here now. So here's the normal simus rhythm that is uh, following that same ECG there. So here it is, blue P wave, yellow PR delay there, and then the red QRS complex followed by the pink T wave. So here's the real time one. This follows the exact intervals and is calculated for each pixel. So we have the P wave there, then the PR delay there, but you can't really tell at all because of how fast it's going. Uh, but this is the actual conduction speed of the heart at 75 beats per minute. So we're going to move on to first degree block there. So this one is just the lengthening of the PR delay there. So what's happening is we're having a long delay here at the PR interval, which is just the AV node, conduct, which conducts the atria conduction to the ventricles. So that's that one. Let's move on to the second degree block, type 1. So this one's going to be a normal QRS complex there, normal delay. It's going to follow into a longer, more delayed PR interval, which follows by an even longer one, and then it eventually drops. So very long PR there. and drops. So now we're going to move on to second degree type 2. So there we go. So it's going to have a normal PR delay. It's going to be a normal, almost a normal sinus rhythm for the first two beats and then it's going to drop. And it drops at a consistent rate. So for this it is I believe every third beat it drops. Nope, every fourth beat it drops. So it's a three to one ratio. And there it is. So now we're gonna move on to a third degree block. This is where the atrium ventricles are conducting at their own rhythms. So the atria in this case is conducting twice as fast as the ventricles. And there's a complete block in the AV node, so there's no conduction being sent through it at all, which is going on right here. So next is Biogemini. So it's going to be a normal science rhythm followed by a PVC which is shown as an ectopic focus coming from right here and it's spreading throughout. So next we have is the SVT which is a re-entry circuit happening at the AV node and so both the signals going to the ventricles and going to the atria are coming from the AV node right there and it's happening at a very fast pace typically greater than 150 beats per minute. And then next we're gonna move into VTAC, which is similar to the PVC, however it's happening at a very rapid pace, sometimes over 300 beats per minute. 
and the muscles aren't able to fill up, or the, sorry, the ventricles aren't able to fill up with blood by the time they contract next. That's where you lead to a pulseless VTAC. So what's actually happening here is it's starting here and moving this way, except it's happening so fast you can't even tell. So next, moving into V-fib. One second. So this is the same thing, except it's the uh, actual, every single part of it is quivering and it's all going at its own rate there. And so there is actually no muscle contraction going on at all and there is no cardiac output. So this is cardiac arrest. And that's everything.